Hello everyone, I'm the Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my Alsace wine journey. And today we're discovering the wines of Eblen Fuchs. And this is their 2015 uh, Riesling from Zellenberg. You'll notice that I'm now gonna use more photos so that you don't have to view me for the full length of the review. So the um, wine that we're gonna review today is the Eblen Fuchs 2015 Riesling from the region of Zellenberg. So Zellenberg is located um, south of Riverview and north of Rickveer. Eblen Fuchs was created in 1956 when Mary Magdalene Fuchs married Henri Joseph Eblen. They created the winery. The current owner is, um, of course, their descendant, Christian Eblen and um, his partner is Lawrence Leninger. Uh, she's also a um, descendant of a famous wine family. They are uh, both um, biodynamic and also organic in terms of their growth. And they're fairly small winery, um, about 11, 11 to 12 hectares, which is fairly small. If you go back to the other photos, you can see their um, wine bottle is very classic in terms of the shape. Also, the label is fairly um, traditional, and I think they could kind of maybe update it a bit. Um, so I'm not a big fan of their label. It's kind of not very modern. Um, this photo is of the wine color. So you'll see the color is, I would say, light straw color. Um, and the when I swirl it around the glass, it, it has the characteristic um, body and denseness of Alsace Riesling, which is you know more medium bodied. Let's taste the wine. So on the aroma, I smell light um, tropical aromas, lemon, lime. Um, a little bit of pineapple and pear. Um, yeah, quite quite light, but quite aromatic. On the taste, characteristic, characteristic Alsace Riesling in terms of weight, good body, a little bit less acidity that I would like. Um, it's got lime, orange peel, lemon elements, and a little bit of honey. Um, but always nice with food. Tonight I had it with some um, kind of um, spring rolls or some uh, Vietnamese rolls. It was quite nice with that type of pairing. Yeah, I get much more citrusy, grapefruity, lime elements than I saw with the other Rieslings. If you see my previous videos with Gustave Laurence or, or um, the Chimbach Riesling or even the Hugal Riesling, this is not as, um, not as much honey and elements and not as much acidity and a little bit more, um, a little bit lighter. And in terms of intensity of taste and also a little bit more like grapefruity, um, lime, citrus. Final thoughts on this wine. Um, I got to compare it to the other Rieslings that I've had, that I've reviewed on this site. I've had Gustave Lorenz, I've had Trimbach, I've had Riesling, uh, Hugal. Um, and so I've been spoiled with some great Rieslings. Um, so to me, this is 86 points, still a good wine. Um, but the only thing that I, in my personal opinion, the taste is um, the acidity might be a little bit lower than what I'd like. And it has more um, lime, grapefruit, citrus elements, uh, orange peel, um, um, like the more bitter or, or zesty elements that personally I don't prefer. Um, I like a little bit more honey. I like more um, soft and mellow type wines that are uh, have a... Yeah, a, a little bit more acidity. I know it sounds weird that I said it was the acidity wasn't enough, but um, it seemed like the brightness of the wine wasn't enough, but they had a lot of um, tart 
sharpness, I guess. That's maybe the difference. Um, but I still enjoy this wine. Um, so I think it's still a great reasoning. Um, and um, I, I don't think you need to age this at all. You just pop it open. Until next time, happy drinking.